It has been way too long since we have done a musical for the channel. I am so, so excited for today's video. We are going to be checking out the 2007 filmed version of Hairspray starring Zac Efron, John Travolta, the whole crew. It's gonna be amazing. I am so, so excited for this. I haven't watched this movie in quite a few years. It's one of my all time favorite movie musicals, but I've watched it on like repeat when it first came out and when I was in my younger age and just getting into musical theater and all that. This movie really hits home for me. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are too. But before we get into it, if you guys could go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button, I would truly, truly appreciate it. Hitting that like button helps me out so, so much, pushes us into the algorithm, makes this movies and depth family that much bigger. Also leave a comment in the comment section down below of what's your favorite moment from Hairspray. Also go check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash movies and depths for the full uncut reaction to this and all other movies and television shows covered on this channel as well. Go follow me at the social medias, Twitter, Instagram, both fun times, and let's just get right into this. I'm curious, how many of you all have actually seen this movie since it came out in 2007? Let me know in the comments. This is easily one of the best opening songs to any musical I've heard in the past, I don't know how long. Were those slippers falling apart at the seams? Did you see that when she stuck her foot through? <laughs> Good morning, Baltimore. You all better be ready because this is basically gonna be a sing-along. Besides the gag aspect of it, I really wanna know who thought, hmm, let's have her dad be the owner of a really, really corny joke shop. Radio, I wonder if all the hair in this movie was their natural hair or if they just had a bunch of wigs. The fact that we just normalized a flasher living next door. I can't. Someone invite me before I drop down. Are we being a little bit dramatic, Tracy? I know what field we're in, but still. <laughs> He's like, are, are you serious? I have like 50 houses to get to. You're really gonna make me drive you to school? It's like, thanks for making me late on my shift, sweetie. Tracy Turnblad, if I have to write you up for inappropriate hair height. Imagine having an era where hair height can be an infraction. Hair can't just hang there like a dead thing on your cheeks. I'm not, I'm not trying to point that at you or anything. You look wonderful. I love the way it just like kind of underlaps your chin. We have to look back approximately 60 million years. I hate that close up. I've always hated that close up. I, I know girls probably tried her hardest to keep her teeth white over the years, but dear God, just seeing it up close. Out of my way. Oh, Amanda Bynes in her prime. Gotta love it. Come on, Come on Corny, let's get it. Corny Collins has always been a dream role of mine. I don't know why. I think he has a lot of growth that people don't really notice all that much, but he also has some amazing standalone songs. Nice white kids. Remember, we're in 1960s. I'll never get over that he just literally says, I'm done with you. Hit the deck. <laughs> and I'm late. Let's go, Zach Efron! Who cares about sleep when you can sleep? Oh, I like that dance move. What is that? They're kind of like wiggling with it. You must think my ears are oh my good god, the cankles of the legend, John Travolta. Let's go, baby. <laughs> trying to earn here. I'm trying to earn here. <laughs> Now, who went to John Travolta's agent and said, all right, now, we want you to play a 40-year-old woman with cankles. How am I supposed to negotiate pleats? I just want to hear an entire audiobook of John Travolta speaking in that accent. Letting her listen to that race music again. My daughter spends every afternoon at the Stamp and Coin Club. Alice and Jenny, I love you, but in this movie, you can kindly F off. Are you trying to tell me that, that Penny didn't get permission from her mother to be here? Why in the world would you rat her out, Mama Turnblad? Without the joy of nothing! Having nothing builds character! Oh, God, every Christian's morals. Hold on, I still need to earn. Corny, that's why we have to steer them in the white direction. Oh, she doesn't even try to hide it, white direction. Uh... Ew, why would you bite it? Got that? You little Amber. You wholesome little biscuit! Save your personal life for the camera, sweetie. Oh! Imagine saying that to your daughter. Save your personal life for the camera. This time next year, you could be wearing an ill-fitting tuck snapping bar mitzvah photos. Fairy just whispered in my ear. I, I, I can't predict the future, but I do control it. She can't even dance. Plastic little spastic. Plastic little spastic. Oh, Mean Girls is screaming. And the worst. 
beware of the plastic. Just nine months. This is fun loving, but maybe not quite as freewheeling. Jesus Christ, why? I did not catch that line before. <laughs> Corny, why do you have to destroy her on just public TV right now? Oh, all the kids are batting up their hair now, hon. You're no help. It's ratting, Dad. He's trying to be supportive. She wouldn't know a dream if it bit her on the nose. Well, That's technically bit her on the cankle. That I owned a coin-operated laundromat, and I came down from that cloud real quickly. Coin-operated laundromat, dancing in front of millions of people on camera. <laughs> They're same levels to this thing. I can't believe I'm really here watching you audition. You all better be ready also because I think it's at the end of this year we're gonna have the Broadway version of Hairspray back as a reunion. Sure has gone downhill since I was crowned Miss Baltimore Crabs. Come on, let me see my evil queen song. Mother knows best. Tangled. Mother knows best. Let me show you how your mommy dear took out the competition. Step on foot and step on that ass. They powdered their cups, but I screwed the judges. Oh, she was Miss Baltimore Crabs. She, uh, she got around them crap. <laughs> <laughs> Dance for fleas and ticks. Oh, you should have seen my bag of tricks. Oh. I wondered, oh, I had another thing she could have said. Nope, not YouTube friendly. I'm not gonna say it. Baltimore Crabs. Who gave her a baton? Caldwell, this show isn't broadcasted. Cinema Stone. I love it when the entire group gangs up on you for being overweight. Been there, done that. Used to be much heavier than I am now. Amanda Bynes was so cute and beautiful back then. Mwah. I think they secretly liked you. Just really, really deep down. Give me a break. Yeah. Now we're starting to get into the amazing music of the movie. That's the one thing I miss about this era. I wish we could have brought back all those Converse shoes. But what's the ideas of March? I mean, how can a month have an idea? Did he just say the ideas of March? Christ on a popsicle stick. Bad, bad girl who needs to be Oh, is that right? Well, you might want to turn around. Hey, you know, she's like, dear mother of God, what have I done? I want to leave. But if he saw you dancing like that, he'd put you on the show. You sure about that? I don't think he would. Sorry, little darling. Hope I didn't dent your do. Imagine saying that back in the day. Sorry, little darling. I didn't want to dent your do. I can hear the bell. Can you? What are you talking about? I'm right there with you, Amanda. Don't you hear him chime? I hear something chiming, but it's more of like a cuckoo clock. And you feel my heartbeat. That's a little weird, but hey, if you want me to keep my hand there. <laughs> because when he nudged me. Laureen, Maureen, get out. My head is spinning. Oh, smoking free teacher lounges. What a gross, gross place. <laughs> Won't go all the way, but I'll go pretty far. Well, at least she's pretty forward about it. Is that not a little bit creepy that she just is peering into the men's room? I are French kissing. You really had to lick your hand that much to slick that back? Is it just like half gel and half spit? That's a nice touch. At the end of that song, you hear like the chime going off in the background of the different harmonies. That's a good way to end that. Pretty tight. Okay, I'll go in front of you and I'll push. Oh, that was me and my friends at every mosh pit. It's your dance. How about you go bar for a second? Really? Seaweed is the low-key unsung hero of this movie. Don't at me. Oh, I love this scream by Zach. Come on, baby. Wow. Something I'm just picking up on about this, So This movie is about bringing people together in more ways than one. Not only is Zach Efron's character interested in helping out the cause of, like, desegregating everything, but then also he's going after someone who's completely out of the typical range of what's considered beauty in that time, which is also unheard of. So it's like on multiple, multiple different levels. <laughs> that was kind of a funny face she made. It was literally next to a couple of clown masks that made it blend in. <laughs> Let's go! I watch the Corny Collins show and I do absolutely nothing else. That's the type of girl we're looking for. I also hope to be the first woman president those are very similar. You have to vote for a person, Cordy, not one of the Himalayas. Always the charmer, Amber. Yeah, always the person that I want to kick in the literal tit. This isn't the version of this song I'm looking for. We got your Tracy souvenirs for that. He is an opportunist, can't knock him there. I'm gonna get her after school. Hit it with me. Yes!
Oh, those harmonies. Come on. That's so good. From the dress shop? Uh-huh. What was that smile? Oh, my God. Maybe we should get you an agent. Okay. You be my agent. What? One thing I'll say, though, in the world of entertainment, mixing friends and family with the business normally doesn't work out that well. Fun. I haven't left this house since 1951. You've been in there for nine years? How are you not like translucent at this point? Oh, 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 oh. We already have holograms at this point? I love the 60s. Can we go someplace that's stuffy? No, mom. You think Tracy ever questioned, mom, why are you twice my height? <laughs> oh God, different time, different age. They're pregnant nine months and they're drinking a martini in one hand and a cigarette in the other. Throwing a bustier. <laughs> 54 double D. Oh, they know how to swing it, baby. Come on. I hit the bubble That is another advice. If you guys are out there and actually in musical theater, get yourself an agent. Read over your contracts. Don't get screwed over. Look at us. To think, went from Greece to this. Ah, oh, Travolta. I love you. This show was obsessed with a, like, standing in line reveal at the end. Not have breasts. You are devil spawn. Immortal last words. Kiss my ass. <gasps> Damn straight. Now, would you mind if I too checked it out? She said that's so weird. I can't see. This man has one of the best voices in musical theater. Don't at me. Also has one of the highest ranges I've ever heard. Imagine just accumulating the talent that they had for this movie. All these people are just obscenely talented. Another just ridiculously talented person on this show. Another key change! Listen to that note! Oh, honey, reeling him back in is the easiest thing in the world. I control this career. Is that the way you really want to reel someone back in? Second, you see a red dress, run. Run for the hills. Come on, Queen Latifah! Her character is obscenely underrated in my book. Some of the best musical theater songs of all time come from her in this show. Mike. Mike who? It's Mike. What is that dog she's holding? Ew, that thing is frightening. You could scare children with that thing. And all mashed up against a crooner? Um, a crooner? Well, don't compliment me. I'm trying to mimic Frank in my pastime. Fly me to the moon. Well, I do. I left my urn on. I want an entire video of just John Travolta saying urn over and over again. I would have loved to have seen this on the stage. You could do so much creative choreography with Edna Turnblad, Mama Turnblad, just going around looking for the different plates and like turning into dance moves as she does it. That would have been really cool. Okay, all right, John. Come on, I see you a little bit. Also, nobody can tell me different. John Travolta in this movie, he got some cake. If we can't put a smile on your face, your skin's too tight. Ah. Pop, pop. Is this an entire store filled with dad joke humor? Because I want in. My husband accidentally suffocated. How do you accidentally suffocate? Huh? I have know. questions. You've been dozing off during history. Yes, always. That's just a given. Link, we're going with them, right? Probably. That should have instantly told you, uh, my career is important. I like them, but my career is important. I think this adventure is a little too big for me. Oh God, no, 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 that's not right. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even get that reference. I was just, thought he was just being genuine. Oh, I didn't realize what he just said. Oh, that's awful. Skin, clothes, you name it. Are you done? I am trying to seduce you. Yeah, yeah, perfect timing. Your wife! I hate her. Hey. He was literally just trying to be a good businessman and this is what he gets for it. Let that sink in. His heart only beats for size 60. Size 60? Don't say that. Don't say that to her. Off their father's laps and go out there and fight for it. He's the literal most supportive father of all time. Any sort of dream she has, he's right there with her the entire way, and that's the way it should be. She changed the locks. She changed the locks that fast? She is 
fierce and independent. Travolta, you looking look pretty nice. Sprite is a slinky. I love this song. It is so cute. You like a stinky old cheese, babe. Not the best metaphor. You like a fatal disease, babe. What? You're not helping yourself. Waltz. It's all the same schmaltz with How can you stay mad at Christopher Walken? He just needs a more cowbell. I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. Oh, Christopher Walken and John Travolta trying to dance. Oh, God. Travolta can dance, but him trying to dance in that get up is like next to impossible. You're fat and old, but baby. Boring, you ain't. Still wouldn't have said that. See, you're stuck with me. Oh, there's little shooting stars in the background. That's such a good backdrop. I love it. Oh, Wilbur. Why did they include that? <laughs> I don't know why I didn't like that. <laughs> Wake up, everything's good again. Wilbur! Everything is not good again! You never dance on TV again. If oh, I can't dance. This is, this is my favorite song from the show. This is my absolute favorite song from the show. There's a crowd. This could have given this movie the Oscar for best song right here. But the riches. This just speaks to the character that is Tracy. She literally finally got what she wanted and then knows that this is the right thing to do to push for a better tomorrow, even if it means giving up on her dream. Listen to that chorus. That we have. I used to sing this song on repeat any time of the day. I loved it so, so much, especially when I was doing shows back in the day in high school. Oh my God. Tracy, you on? You don't know what you're doing. I think at this point she probably does know what she's doing. She's at the front of the picket line about to hit the station. I love that that's what she's worried about. Like, hang on, get me from my good angle. Excuse me, she was talking to you. Never hit first. Wait for them to throw the first hit. Let's take the whole lot in. What? Now, if I'm gonna be taken in for a song, I'm gonna get my money's worth. Skadoosh! I let you leave the house right now, you'll be in prison fighting whores for cigarettes. How would you know that? You bailed all those people out? You upset with me? Oh, that's so sweet. He is literally dad of the year. Wait till your father gets out of prison. Father gets out of prison. That should tell you everything you need to know about that family's dynamic. Devil child! Devil child! Alice and Jenny committed to this role. On the outside, I, I looked, looked good. Without love. You have no idea how long that candy bar has been there. Without love. So they, hold up, did you not remember that I, I'm still down here? <laughs> Come on, hit this high note. Again, I'm gonna say, how old is that candy bar? Don't mind anything under this blanket right here. I promise officer, there's nothing there. I have nightmares about that, like in the Broadway stage and be like, hi, guys, I have nodes. Uh, Pitch Perfect, help me out. Give me every, I swear I Zac Efron in this movie was the definition of a dreamboat. Nobody can tell me otherwise. A whole lot of ugly coming at you from a never ending parade of stupid. So you met my mom. I don't remember that line. That was genius, yes. He's corny. I want to be corny. Come on. Let us make our father drink wine and let us lie with him. What did she just say? It's like the agents are here, but how quickly can I get you off of my arm? Alma, I seriously doubt this girl's gonna risk incarceration to win a pageant. Do you know who you're dealing with? I risk communicable diseases. She'll certainly risk jail. Clinical diseases? Oh, that's right, because she uh she got got the crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, also, agents, did you really need to wear sunglasses inside of a studio? Yes, we love a kick line! Oh my good lord, come on, Michael Bublé who? Hey baby, you look like you could use a stiff one. Oh, it's a cold night out. Right in my face, what did I tell you? That's the accuracy of spraying hairspray everywhere. Official dance off. <laughs> I would have gone for the full punch. Darla. Darla seems like a middle-aged woman in disguise of a 20-year-old. You. you were able to see that from there? I'm impressed. She was pretty discreet about that. Confirmed sighting. Confirmed sighting. We have a sighting of a Christopher walk-in inside of a woman's dress. Y'all want some more cowbell? It's time. 
Here's the thing, if she's in there, because I do know the story, she's inside that hairspray can, she's gonna have brain damage by the time she gets out. Yes, they're literally carrying her in, but they also bashed her a few times against the door. Oh my God, you carry her in. If that's not the irony of the century. Corny is me, he is me, I, I meant to play that role. Can we start up a, a movies in depth for Corny Collins in the comment section? Sorry, did we go to outer space? Why is there a rocket ship in the background? It's about to get out, Dan. Come on, Tracy! I love that dress on her. Oh, it's so beautiful. But I just cannot stand Do you see Cordy in the background? He is me. Why would you get in the rocket ship? You were asking for that to happen. He's like, I did not see about this in any of the cue cards. Look at Amanda. Oh, just mwah, chef's kiss. Come on, see, we hit it. Yeah, that's a smart decision. You're 16 feet up in the air. Just drop down. I am now a checkerboard chick. Yes! <laughs> I'm still fine. <laughs> May have a broken ankle, but I can still twist with one foot. I just stole it. Are we here, Doesn't matter how many times you've seen this show, it's still such a good happy moment. But this is invalid. This is impossible. Rule 30, paragraph 5, asterisk down at the bottom. Would you like to talk to my lawyer before I kick you off the stage myself? Corny Collins Show is now and forever officially integrated! Woo! Yes! I've got to stop. I'm just, I've just been smiling for the past 30 minutes. I can't help it. This movie makes me so happy. Back to you, Steve. Oh, I hate that newscaster. He's like, that was amazing. Back to you, Steve. Crabby, you're on candy camera. Finally got what you wanted. How can you take a cancerous can of chemical? That's what I've been saying this entire time. Yeah, yeah rip it off! John Travolta got cake! This is the future. That's my guy! Is a brand new I don't care who you are. I don't care what you think about this show. You can't tell me that this number right here doesn't inspire you and just make you so happy. We love to see it! All right, so that was the movie version of the wonderful Broadway hit show Hairspray from 2007. I absolutely adore that movie. Everyone in that movie does such a good job. I think that the storytelling is perfect for what that story is. It deals with a lot of different issues from self-identity to segregation to just loving who you are for you being you. And it's a really good tale. Tale as old as time. You can always find moments and and things to fall back on to remember where we've come and where we're going and I absolutely love every aspect of that film and I think it's just beautiful and I couldn't say more praises about it but if you like what you saw here today and you want to see more if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button I would truly truly appreciate it hitting that like button pushes this video up farther to the algorithm it helps me out so so much on the channel so I truly appreciate it if you could do that for me and then also leave a comment in the comment section down below what's your favorite movie musical out there. I would love to read those. And also go check out patreon.com slash movies in depth if you want to see the full uncut linked reaction to this and all other movies and TV shows covered over there. It's going to be basically a sing along for this one. I was snapping my butt off the entire time. So if you want to go have a good time, go check it out over there. Follow me at the two social medias, Twitter, Instagram, both fun times. And besides all of that, I'll hairspray you all. Yeah.